Now, as most of us know, when it comes to Minecraft YouTubers, they're usually split up into several groups. The first group consists of YouTubers who are actually good. The second group consists of YouTubers who have no personality. The third group consists of those who think that loud equals funny. The fourth group consists of people who are potentially mentally insane. And the final group consists of people who are definitely mentally insane. But the person we're talking about today is a unique one, because they are part of two of these groups, namely the third, and the fifth one. That person's name is Jellybean, and they have over 1 million subscribers on YouTube, over 200,000 followers on Twitch, and over 100,000 followers on TikTok. So, for such a large following, she must make amazing content. So let's check it out. Reacting to Dream's worst fan art from my Discord server. Okay, that's not Dream. That is Drom. Oh my god, I didn't know Dream face revealed already. Why is he kinda... Oh my god, that is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Why does he look like that? <laughs> this video is a perfect representation of what it's like to overdose on Benadryl. Jellybean is not your regular Minecraft YouTuber. She is someone who many people refer to as a comfort streamer. According to Urban Dictionary, a comfort streamer is a streamer that the audience doesn't view as a person trying to make an income creating content and rather as a streamer who exists primarily to comfort the viewers because they are depressed and sad. So basically it's like a therapist but they actually actually don't give a shit about you. And Jellybean is a perfect example of a comfort streamer because she's loud, she tries to make jokes, and she generally makes the audience feel as if though they're escaping into this virtual world where they have no problems. Reading my horrible Twitter DMs. This you? I- I look nothing like Ed Sheeran! Stop with the short comments, I'm not short! I love this animal! The short! <laughs> I don't understand why she's gotta be so loud. It's not like she's recording it during the bombing of Rotterdam. Jellybean also doesn't seem to understand what comedy is, because she tries way too hard to be funny, to the point where it seems like her videos are made for three-year-olds. Beast Trigger, what exactly are you doing here? Oh, hey, Jelly. I'm placing down more beds to confuse our enemies. Well, there's only one problem with that. This isn't even our bed. Our bed is over there. Oh, well, hopefully we don't die. Hey, hold it. I just had a fucking bra moment. If Tommy in its videos are for people who don't have a father, then Jelly Bean's videos are for people who are orphans. Jelly Bean's fan base have also developed a condition that the Dream Stands have called being unable to take a fucking joke. A couple of weeks ago, Jelly Bean was forced to apologize on Twitter after her fans criticized her for making a joke during the live stream of Five Nights at Freddy's Security breach in which she called the daycare attendant a pedophile. You pedophile! It's past your bedtime. You must be punished. No, he's a pedophile! He's a pedophile, chat! He's a pedophile! <laughs> no me gusta! No me gusta, chat! Why are people such pussies nowadays? Why can't they stop cancelling someone for five minutes and just appreciate and take a joke? I also don't think that Jelly Bean should have apologized because by doing that, she is giving her immature audience the power to cancel her for the smallest things. And that's a dangerous fucking power, especially in the hands of such psychotic individuals. Take Dream, for example. This guy was cancelled by his own fan base for using the word lynch, which I know is associated with racial violence in America, but it was not used in that context, so it was okay. But still, he was cancelled by his fans and forced to make an apology. It's actually kind of depressing to see this new generation of gaming YouTubers becoming so obsessed with keeping their image clean that they can't just, you know, make a joke and, you know, just have some fun with it. Like, take Vanos Gaming, for example. This guy makes so many dark jokes in his video, and yet he manages to get away with it because everyone knows that he's just having fun. That was an exhilarating Come last round. Mid. Guys, guys, I, I unlocked the rice hat. <laughs> I, I got the samurai rig! Oh, no way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it says, thanks for creating the coronavirus, you chink <laughs> gook. Oh my gosh. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. It's pretty obvious while we beat there. <laughs> but unfortunately, nowadays, uh, like the next generation has just become so stupid and, you know, so obsessed, you know, with, you know, you can't really say that, you can't say that, that they are willing to cancel their favorite streamers for just saying, you know, a joke. And just, it's, it's a shame that streamers and YouTubers nowadays are being put into this position where they can't, you know, just enjoy themselves 
rights and enjoy freedom of speech and they have to you know be always you know on target with their brand image they always have to you know be obsessed with how they look on the internet they always have to you know think about what they say they just can't have fun and that's a big shame but anyway guys that's the end of the video thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support remember to subscribe like comment turn notifications on please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm and as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye disco, 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 disco. Mm, disco.